Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth part of this tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be taking a look on how to create custom maps to a range of proper distribution of the instances across the surface we already have. The first thing we need to do is to decide where do we want our instances to go. In my case and for this scene I wanted the R trees or the instances to be populating mainly where the green grass texture is located so it's going to be somewhat around here and here and here and the closer they get to the river path and the lake the less trees are going to appear um, in order to do that we'll have to go back to Photoshop and use some of the textures we created for this scene before um, so open up Photoshop and I'll see you there in a minute alright so I'm in Photoshop now I hope you guys are in Photoshop as well as you can see I opened the document we used to create the color texture for our scene the reason I'm using this one is because when we created this uh, document we used different selection sets to distribute the different materials the way we want them across the surface now as I told you before I want our trees to be mainly populating where the green grass texture is located so the first step is going to be to fill this green grass layer texture with white. The reason for that is because we're going to be creating a black and white map where whatever is white is going to have the most instances and whatever is black is not going to have any instances at all. So the green grass texture is going to be completely black, completely white, sorry, and where the river and the lake are is going to be completely black because it's not going to have any trees over there. So and this middle section is going to be gray because we want to have some trees there but we want, we don't want a big amount there so let's proceed with that one let's go to image adjustments and let's go to hue and saturation and let's remove all the lightness from it and we're going to get a solid color from it and since we don't want this one to be completely black we're going to adjust that by adding a curse adjustment and making sure we turn that black color into somewhat 50% gray and the last one uh, is going to be uh, the river path and the lake and to make that one black we're going to go to here and saturation once again and we're going to remove the lightness from it so now we have a black and white map uh, that is that we're going to be using to distribute our instances across the surface so let's save this image up and open up the layout once again and I'll see you there alright so we are back in layout and all we have to do now is to load the trees that we created using the, same, the, the technique that I showed you in the previous tutorial so I'm going to load my trees so I created four different trees and they are all in this very same file it's taking a bit long but now they are in our scene uh, we're going to leave these trees in the position they are at the moment and all we have to do now is to load our instance generator by pre by selecting the surface and pressing P for properties panel and let's go to instancer add instance generator now just double click here and we have the instancer uh, ready for us now we don't have anything here and we have to add the objects that we are going to use as instances so I'm going to grab the trees that I just brought and still we don't see anything here and that's because we need to assign this a surface so whatever change you do to the first instance is going to apply to the other so let's make sure we use a uh, thousand instances and we have these trees all over the place so now we have to go to the weight option and we're going to use planar we're going to project it from the y-axis and we're going to automatic size this 
and now all we have to do is to load the image we just created in Photoshop so I'm going to look for the one we just created in Photoshop which is this one okay and although I applied this to the first one I still have to copy this texture map into my other instances so I'm going to go here and copy and paste this texture and now the instances are located only where the map tells them to be now I think we have just to these are not enough instances I'm going to increase this number maybe 5000 I like it and the last thing I need to do is that I'm going to add some uh, additional randomness to this so I want the minimum scale to be 90% and the maximum scale to be 110 I don't want them to be stretched because I think they'll look a little weird and I want them to have different rotations so the minimum is going to, s to stay as it is which is zero and I'm going to change the maximum uh, heading angle to 180 percent so so far I think it's it's looking nice but I want to see how this looks in render so I'm going to render this one uh, I'm going to pause the video for a little bit because this this will probably take a, a little bit too long and I'll see you back here in a minute okay so the render is done and I quite like it but we still have a little issue here and if you look closely you'll see that some of the trees are really close to the water even one it's inside the water so we'll have to readjust this uh, this is going to be a really simple process all we have to do is to go to the image editor and add a little contrast so let's do that now alright so I'm selecting the instance map and all I'm gonna do is to go to the editing tab I'm gonna add a little contrast so wait, let's wait for the feedback yes I think the screen capture software it's delaying this a little bit but in your computer is surely going to be quite faster okay so we finally have our feedback and uh, as you can see we don't have that issue anymore so the trees are in the proper place and we are really close to finish this I think the only thing we have left is to position our camera better and you know render this so let's do that now so let's move the camera And I like this position here. I'm saving this once again. And let's change the camera settings. So I want this to be at least 1280 by 720. And let's increase the maximum samples to 20. And I'm going to change this to mid chill. And I think I'm done so I'm going to render this and I'll come back once the render finishes alright so here's my final render um, I quite like it I know it can be better and some stuff can be improved but so far so good uh, you can tweak whatever you want in your render and well I hope this uh, very very long tutorial was useful to all of you uh, hopefully in the coming weeks I'll have some extra time to make uh, some other tutorials um, I'm glad you enjoyed this one and well uh, don't forget to subscribe and to check on the other tutorials I have in my channel and see you next time